You're about to watch what a dangerous judge can do. This is a little 15 month old boy being literally ripped from his father's arms. Why not? No! 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 Kusei Abbas wouldn't see his little son Omar again for more than a year and a half, thanks to Harris County Judge Barbara Stalder. Maybe just go no, off, okay? No, no. To to Supposedly, this was meant to protect Omar from his father. That was like my, my life was horrible because he's the one like giving me like all the, the energy to do good in my life, you know? His smile like mean everything to me. Kusei had made San Antonio home, a refugee from the Iraq war. He had married, but it didn't last long. Kusei made horrific allegations against his wife, family violence on his son and stepdaughter. There are multiple police reports. I keep thinking about what's gonna happen to my son. On December 13, 2019, Kusei filed for divorce in San Antonio. Remember that date? Just two weeks later, his wife Mariam sought a protective order to keep him away. Not in San Antonio where their divorce case was pending, but here in Houston from a judge with a reputation. You saw us try to warn you about Judge Barbara Stalder last December. Attorneys say the embattled judge hands out lifetime protective orders like cupcakes. Growing criticism that she was handing out too many protective orders, being unjust. And it was because of these things that myself and several other lawyers got together and we filed a judicial um, complaint against Judge Stalder. Stalder was badly beaten in the Democratic primary. Since then, sanctioned by the Judicial Conduct Commission for her behavior, shackling lawyers to chairs in the jury box more than once. Our video brought out more of the judge's alleged victims. One viewer wrote, quoting, help me remove this piece of fertilizer, please. There were allegations Stalder's court was being used to punish spouses, regardless of the truth of the claims. And it sure looks like Kasey's wife may have even moved to Houston, not just for the view, but because the word about Judge Stalder had spread. When I read it, like I, I get shocked because even the language they have in that order, like it's been like very, very scary and harmful. Kasey asked Judge Stalder for a delay to get a lawyer. She said, no. I'm American citizen. I have the right to have an attorney. And she said, no, just shut up. When Kasey asked for an Arabic translator for his witnesses, Judge Stalder said, quoting, that's not my problem. It's right there in the transcript. Don't you just love justice? But Judge Stalder isn't acting alone here. The Harris County Assistant DA Beth Barron knew there was already a pending divorce case in another city, and a nasty one at that. Lots of horrible allegations against the mom. But they just ignored all that and sought to punish Kusei instead. Why? Tell me why. By taking away his son. Andrew Kusei's brother, Muhan. I know this is rare, but Mahan ended up marrying Kasey's wife's sister. Yes, two brothers marrying two sisters. And what emerges is a strange case of family injustice, a case of possible double deception. There is another broken marriage here. Wuhan filed for divorce after he fled with his daughter to a domestic abuse shelter. If you can't, look, just... He's Talk to me in Arabic and he'll translate. Muhan speaks little English, mostly Arabic, but listen to what he claims his wife threatened. Uh, she said anything you will file, anything you will do, we will do the same thing what we did to your brother. And you'll see what happened to your brother. Muhan says he also got threats from his wife's family. They came with anonymous photos of beheading in Spanish and Arabic. I got very scared. Uh, now listen to this. It's a conversation between his wife Shema and her brother in San Antonio. It was recorded by a hidden camera. The translation, quoting, Tell them he pointed the gun at you and threatened you and he beat the son. Teach your son to say that. And there's something else, Judge Stalder, you should hear the brother say. 
quoted, call the police now, and Houston judge should come to manage it. It appears Judge Stalder's court has now become a pipeline for family injustice. That's not what the protective court was set up to be. Definitely it was problematic to have to go to a different county and appear on a matter uh, where all of the facts, all of the witnesses, uh, all of the transactions are actually here in San Antonio. You'll just love this. Shema moved to Houston to join her sister. And yes, the DA's office and Judge Stalder granted a protective order against Muhan, even though he was the one who went to the abuse shelter in the first place. To be honest, I feel that time like it's, it's the end for me and my daughter because of that court. That order eventually dismissed. But sadly, we're not done. This week, Kaseya Boss will be back in Judge Stalder's court yet again. His wife has filed another request for protection with the local DA to keep Kaseya and Omar apart again. And Judge Stalder has agreed to another hearing. She didn't have to, and we checked. The protective order came after Kaseya had filed multiple motions to enforce visitation in San Antonio. You think the DA's office was used in this case? Um. I think there was some manipulation there. I don't know if they were aware uh, that they were being used. The March 1st court document seeking a Houston court's protection in the midst of a San Antonio divorce raises lots of questions because it claims his wife needs protection in part from unknown phone calls she got four or five months ago. Audio of the two sisters plotting to use WhatsApp and Snapchat in their plans against their husbands, Kusei and his brother Muhan. Double deception caught on tape. You hear one of the wives say, quoting, I will never have mercy on him. Never. I will not have mercy on him. These families are at war, and this fight, it should stay in San Antonio. It sure looks like Judge Stalder has a used her power again. If she's now letting her court be used as a weapon in a divorce case, it's time to stop it. Now. No! No! Tell me why. No! Taking kids away from their parents is very serious business. Kasey came here after the war in Iraq. His two and a half year custody fight has taught him lots of lessons about American justice, but nothing prepared him for what happened with Judge Stalder. It's not, sh shouldn't be like happening in this country because I think will never happen, especially like in the United States. They are like, to get in me ready, looks like I'm a, I'm a sheep. They're getting me ready to, to kill me.